Hello everyone, I am Vibhor Gupta, a certified AWS and Azure Cloud professional. This is my first video in year 2022 and after a long while. So I would first like to wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year. I would also like to take this opportunity to give you a tip on how you can save some extra bucks in the year 2022 on your cloud monthly spend. Okay. So the first and the foremost important thing that I'm going to discuss is your cloud cost optimization. You should exactly know what you are paying for. What are your requirements such as your CPU utilization or your storage? So I would like to discuss a couple of examples with you. There may be a case where you might have deleted your EC2 instance, but your data was important. So you haven't deleted your EBS volume. Have you ever thought of moving that data to S3 storage or maybe to a snapshot rather than a volume? Maybe there are some resources that are underutilized and you are still using them. Maybe a instance, a bigger size instance rather than a smaller size instance. So it is not easy for a company with limited technical capabilities to optimize all these resources. We will discuss by the end of this video how smaller organizations can take the benefit of that. The second point in line is, have you ever thought of using reserved instances, spot instances or savings plan? AWS offers approximately 30% discount on one year commitment and 50% discount on three year commitment. So these discounts are offered on EC2, RDS as well as Elastic Cash because they do all our instances. Spot instances give you approximately 90% discount than on demand instances. The next thing that I want to discuss is volume discount. Have you ever thought of consolidating your account to track your overall spend utilization and also get benefit from the volume discount that is offered by AWS. So I would like to tell you like what sort of discounts are offered by AWS volume discounts that I'm talking about. So when you store 50 TB of data in S3 bucket, after that you start getting 4% discount up to 500 TB and 8.5% discount thereafter. Similarly for data transfer, AWS offers 5% discount after the first 10 TB to 50 TB and 20% discount until 100 TB and 44% discount thereafter. So have you ever thought of using AWS organizations and consolidating all your accounts to get benefit of the volume discount? Now you may ask me a question, before it is easy for bigger organizations who have that much capacity or bandwidth, or maybe you can say the forecast to commit this much utilization. What about all the smaller organizations who have a smaller cloud bill, like 10 K 20 K or so on, or even a little less than that. Or a, maybe a startup who is exponentially growing and what could they possibly do? So how could they take benefit of the volume discount or the reserved instances discount? Let me first complete all these points. Then I would come back to how smaller or medium enterprise could take benefit of these things. The next item that I would like to discuss is the AWS credits. Do you know AWS offers credits to startups from time to time? via their different platforms. So you should start following them on LinkedIn or maybe you should just follow their news feeds and see if they're offering any AWS credits. The last item that I would like to discuss over here is, are you closely monitoring your spend? So I'm not talking about the overall bill. I'm talking about the application level spend. Are you using tags effectively to differentiate your workloads based on application, cost center, department, or any other method that you want to use to. So are you getting to that granular level of monitoring and tracking your spends? So if your answer is no, then you should start doing that to save some bucks. Now let me come to the most important point of this video. How a small or medium level enterprise or a startup could take benefit of these discounts without having a substantial cloud bill. Have you ever thought of using a AWS reseller in place of directly billing from AWS? So this setup is offered by AWS where they have solution providers or AWS resellers. So this is a shared management account setup where the customer doesn't lose their access to AWS and AWS to customer. So basically the customer is of the AWS only but the billing is done via a SPP and not via AWS directly. So what will be the benefit? 
maybe as a customer you are not ready to commit that much workload or you do not have that much forecast so you could not get discount volume discount or the reserved instances discount but as a reseller they may have some customers like you they may be able to commit that much workload to aws to get that discount so what these resellers do they offer you approximately 10 to 15% of the discount based on your entire setup entire infrastructure that you use because on some services you may get discount and on some you may not get so as a overall holistic picture you will see so you may get 10 to 15% of the overall cloud spend discount with minimum commitment additionally these resellers can also help you cost optimize your it infrastructure as they may have lot of in house tools or third party tools to optimize resources so i would like you to take a commitment for 2022 to explore the opportunity to try and reduce your aws bill by 10 to 15% thank you so much have a good day bye bye